Hello, this is Rachel again, and it is, let's see, 1150-something at night where I live, and everyone but me is asleep. So, you know, while everyone's asleep and I can't uh, quite fall asleep, I'm going to do the part three of the palette swatching. I hope Mo doesn't get mad at me because she didn't get to do part three. Yeah, her daddy got home and she started getting a little attitude, so she had to go to time out, which doesn't work because we sent her to my bedroom and she just cries the whole time or screams. I only give her a few minutes anyways, but she, can I come out now? Can I come out now? We can't shut the door, of course, because she'll panic, but that's okay. I don't really like the door being shut anyways with my kid behind it. Because those doors do lock. They're the kind that you just push in on the doorknob and click it in the lock. And I wouldn't want her to get stuck in there. But yeah, so she started getting an attitude and we had to get food ready. My husband had to get in the shower and all that, and Stevie had woke up. She took a quite a long nap. She did that yesterday, too. She does that occasionally. She'll take a long nap. Sometimes she won't nap at all. But usually I've been able to get her to nap. But yes, Stevie woke up, and she was not in a mood, like in a good mood at all, so I thought, okay, I'm just going to wait to do the next video tomorrow. Well, I figure why not, I'm still quite awake right now. I've been playing a game called Merge Dragons, something like that, and yeah, I'm having fun. So... Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Uh, this is the ColourPop Land Candy Castle, I think is what it's called. Yeah. It's really beautiful. It's a lot of pastels. So it's really, really pretty. Yeah. And it's super shiny. Alrighty, so, and I'm trying to be kind of quiet because Stevie's with me. Mona wanted her daddy to sleep with her tonight. So, I got my Stevie and Al got Mo. It works. Okay. I've actually never used this one and I don't know why. It's really, really beautiful. I should have... Should have used it by now. So, yeah, Stevie's... Once she's asleep, like I'd mentioned in a previous video, she's asleep. So, as long as I'm not too, too loud... I can make a video with her sleeping next to me. Or while she's sleeping next to me. Yeah. Oh, which one is that? Okay, the four. Okay. I lost count. So, yeah. Hope everyone's having a good holiday season. I'm sure it's probably a lot different than it has been in the past. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. It sure is for me and my family. We aren't seeing anyone on my husband's side. I don't think at all. I know on his mom's side, definitely not because several members of his, that side of the family has gotten the virus. 
a couple members of my side of the family on my mom's side have as well, but they don't live anywhere near us. And we didn't even know they had it until it was better. Like it was all over. In fact, my midwife had it in between uh, my month the month where, you know, I'm still in the stage of pregnancy where I see her once a month. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I guess I am getting a little tired. But her and her husband and several members of their church congregation got it. And I didn't even know that because she was better by the next time she saw me. She'd been through it and healed and everything was fine. And it didn't affect her like it does some people. It, she just said she felt crappy for a few days and had still has headaches, bad headaches. And that's kind of, that's sucky, but at least she's doing better. Okay. That's the swatches of double entendre. I think they're, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I think they're really, really pretty. I have the plastic somewhere for it. But yeah, so we're not seeing many people. We might go see my mom's mom, but I uh, don't know how that's going to go. We're probably going to wear masks around her the whole time just to be safe. Because she, uh, earlier this year... Or actually, it was the end of last year and earlier this year, she um, had to go through radiation for breast cancer. And she's still, you know, getting over that, and she doesn't need to get sick. So I don't really, just in case, I wouldn't want to give her anything. I mean, even if it was something like the flu or pneumonia or even the cold, I don't want to give her that either. Okay. This one is You Are a Cutie. It's really pretty. I like it. This one I got on sale at Ulta. Oh, look at that one. Angel face. Yeah, that's so pretty. It looks a bit deeper in person, but on the camera it's not. Um, picking it up. But yeah, I got the that one on the cell at Ulta. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like $11 or something. I've used it a few times. It's really pretty. So yeah, I like it. I still prefer the monochromatic ones the most, the nine pan monochromatic ones. I think once all my, once both my ColourPop orders come in, I should have them all except the Blow and Smoke one and the Brown Sugar one, which I know, I think that one was discontinued, and the, the Peach one. The Peach one I don't have, which it's still there it's just out of stock still I was still surprised to see so jaded still on the site because I thought it they discontinued it because I know they did the dream street one which I never got that one I wish I would have but I missed that one I thought I'd missed my opportunity to get the Sailor Moon palette and any of the blushes or anything or they would be sold out and I got lucky I saw that for those and I had to do it and seems like there was something else oh I found the eyeliner this eyeliner set that was sold out last time I looked too and I want some more of their eyeliners because the only one I have so far is Ducky and I'd or already ordered a black one because my other black ones 
are going out, and I'm so upset about that, because I've had them for almost a year, and they lasted that long, and now they're pooping out on me. I might break down and get the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner, but I think it's like $18, which isn't terrible. Honestly, to me, it isn't for good stuff, but... I just spent a lot of money at ColourPop, and I'll work with, I like the ducky eyeliner so far, and it goes well over eyeshadow if I have to, which usually lately, since I, yeah, since I've been messing up my eyeliners, I won't put my shadow on first, and then my liner, I'll just do my liner, and then the shadow over it, and touch up whatever I need to palette looks more pinky on camera. I don't know why. Yeah. And I saw the the wine collection one. The really dark reddish pinkish ones. Burgundy colors. I don't want that collection. There's one that comes with uh, two super shock shadows and a I think an eyeliner and something else maybe and you know there's the palette and you can get oh dang it I I don't remember exactly everything but I want it but I'm not gonna get it right now but oh and the blushes I got blushes too and I'll... right now the stuff's in stock but it, it probably won't be for long okay I have used this one before yeah I really like that shade, which it has purpley shimmer in it, but it looks kind of blue on camera. And of course, of course the glitters are lovely. And the matte shades are too. I just, I love that one so much. got back on the website earlier and saw something else I wanted to get that I noticed was in stock and since my husband's and they're laying down you know with my daughter she hasn't ever really been able to sleep alone I mean she has before but if she does wake up in the middle of the night and she's alone she'll kind of get she'll get upset like she'll start crying like, I've heard her do it before. If she felt she fell asleep on the couch in the living room and we left the TV on for her. And I got up to get um, something. And she was sitting on the couch crying. Like, why didn't you come in the bedroom? And she said it was too dark. Because I keep it, you know, I have to keep it pitch black in here when I'm sleeping. No, no light of any kind. Like, not even my phone light. No sound other than the sound of a fish tank and a fan. Which I'm sure you can hear the fan. But it's just, she doesn't like it dark. She likes the TV, which her daddy's, her daddy does as well, so that works. But he can handle it. He just tells me, I get it too quiet, and it's too dark. Like, whatever. It's nice. He keeps it real cold, and that works for me. I like that. I can dig that. So... He can, he can handle my darkness. Okay. Okay. That is so pretty. That pinky shade. It's supposed to be a pinky shade? Or is it just my skin looking weird? No. That is a pinky shade. It just didn't show up very well on me. Oh, I see what I did there. I swatched over an existing shade. Mm. Okay. Well. I ain't going back now. I'm fixing it. Sorry. There's that really pretty one. Yeah. I know my videos aren't very good. I just, I don't know what I'm doing yet. And I don't want to pay for anything that. Until I know this is going to be something that I do more frequently and all that like making videos I don't want to buy equipment or buy 
anything or pay for anything like editing stuff I don't know how to do all that so if anybody has any tips that are free to at least you know or little money to just being free be awesome because I don't know what I'm doing I'm just doing what what I'm doing okay like I said I'm a bored housewife and I'm pregnant and bleh. okay so that's the all that palette I'm gonna try to hurry because I actually do want to go to sleep now I'm tired <sighs> I love this so much I think I saw it no I think I did order this because I saw it in Ulta and I regretted not getting it because at first I thought eh, I don't want to use those colors but yes I will I realized how much I really, really like pinks and reds. So I absolutely will use this. It's beautiful. And the sad thing is, I have not used it yet. Or maybe I have. I actually think I have. I'm, I don't know. I'm really careful with my palettes like I use my fingers all the time like I haven't I've got brushes but I don't use them because I don't know what I'm doing really with them and I just choose to use my my fingers it works for me and uh, what was I going with that oh so I don't I don't put a lot of pressure on the pans because some of these are extremely soft and I really would hate to run out of a shade quickly and especially if I couldn't replace it that would be quite difficult upsetting you know I'd get over it but I'll just be careful Ooh. oh my goodness Sorry, I swatched a really pretty shade. I'm really hoping y'all can hear me good because I don't know how to do voiceovers or anything. And it's hard enough to, you know, make a video, but editing, have, making time to edit it as a, you know, a mommy of two being pregnant and, you know, I gotta do stuff sometimes. I gotta get out and deal with people. But, I don't know how to do all that stuff and voiceovers just for me right now I can't do them so I hope I y'all can hear me yeah that is so beautiful and I'm gonna keep this one out and put it where I can see it instead of in a drawer so I'll remember to use it very soon yeah most definitely, I need to use that very, very soon. I just like it so much. Okay, next one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do the garden variety. It's one of my newest ones. Well, so was the Candy Castle one. It was one of my newest ones, too, but... Oh, yes, my daughter, my youngest daughter did get a hold of this one as well. And got that shade and dug her finger into that shade, but it's okay. And see, there's some more of these matte shimmer looking shades with this is sucker for you. But those, these look similar to the other ones I was talking about that had the purpley blue shimmer, but they're not quite the same. I've used this one a few times because I use this shade on my face actually under my eyes along with this shade and yeah I, I like it because I don't like it yeah, like I've mentioned I don't like using foundations or um, concealers and all that because I can never find my right shade my, my pores my pores are just um, I don't know how I'm trying to like I said get a skin cleaning routine together that or skin care routine down to take care of the skin on my face especially and just you know 
like I was saying, I want to try things that are calming and that can relax me and relax my skin because I notice when I'm stressed, my skin tends to break out just a little bit. That mainly just happens when I'm pregnant. I haven't broken out really since I was a teenager until, you know, I had kids and I tend to a little bit now. And I haven't lately. I have during this pregnancy, just not... Wow, that's kind of cool. I haven't... I haven't in a while. I say that I'm going to wake up with a pimple. But anyways, no. No, I'm not being negative. I'm trying to be positive. Anyways, I just... Um, yeah, whatever I was saying. Oh, my pores. That's right. They look terrible. So I really, 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 really don't like to wear foundation. Like, like I said, I can never get the right shade. I can never get anything to work. So I just gave up on that, and I just do what I do now. Okay, dang, these went all the way up to my... To my elbow pit, as Mo calls it. Her elbow pit. Okay. Yeah, I have some glitter from the All That palette still, and that will help you see the one on my elbow pit. It's right there. <laughs> it was, that was a little more difficult than I anticipated. Okay, good now? Okay, yeah, that was the Garden Variety palette, which I really like it. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to use more of it. Like I said, I do like putting those shades sometimes under my eyes if I feel like it. Most of the time I don't feel like it. I just deal, I go out looking like whatever. I don't care. And I'm going to do the sweet talk one now because it's so pretty. It was so, 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 so pretty. And I knew I had to have it when I saw it. I've used it a few times, I think. Well, yeah, I've used it several times because when I first got it, I used it a lot because it's so pretty. And that's so shiny. Yeah. Okay. So very shiny. I don't know if you've noticed the palettes on the bottom. But I'm saving the, the best ones for last. Or I guess to me they're the best so far. That's what I've been going in order of. Not necessarily my least favorites to my favorites, but my, you know, the ones I love the most I want to do last. Yeah, the Sweet Talk one got me last year. I just thought it was so beautiful. I think it was last year. It might have been earlier this year, like way earlier this year. It's really nice. I'm trying to hurry because my video is going to cut me off in about another 10 minutes and I'm sure y'all are sick of my long, long videos of just rambling and useless information and a lot of TMI okay that is so pretty yeah they look a little different on camera but like the first one's more pink and that yellow one right there is actually orange and that shimmery orange looking one's actually like a pinkish rosy peach whatever color so whatever whatever and you get you get the the gist of it I may or may not upload this tonight but anyways, yeah, while I'm filming it, it's after 12. Okay. 
truly, madly, deeply. Oh yeah. I got this one at the same, as the same time, or at the same time as Sweet Talk, and seems like double entendre, but I can't remember. And I'm pretty sure You Are A Cutie was another one I got at the same time. Yep, them last three right there. Mm-hmm. This is one of those bigger ones, so I gotta be careful not go to my elbow crack. Elbow pit, that's what it was. Mo said elbow pit. That Mo, she's just so sweet. She wanted to be in a video with Mommy earlier. I try with Stevie, but she don't really care too much about being on video. She just wants to get into stuff Mommy's doing. But that's okay. That's why I've been waiting until she's napping, because it is a little easier. I don't mind her being in the videos, just makes it a little easier. And also, if I'm paying attention to the video, that means I'm not paying full attention to my child. So, or at least in my eyes, I'm not, I mean, even though I am being very, I'm watching her still very carefully. I feel like if I'm not giving full attention to her, it's not enough. So when she's napping, she good. These are so pretty. I'm getting down to my elbow pit, so I'm going to have to figure something out. I'm going to... I know what I'm going to do. I gotcha. Yep. See, now I actually am getting quite tired. I'm probably so gonna have to do a freaking part two. I might as well just cut this off and do the part two. But I'll show y'all this one first and then I'll do my last three, my favorites. My three favorite ones I'll do last. And they're my favorites, so it's cool. Okay, I'll show y'all this one and then I'll see y'all again in the next one. Okay. Ooh. What's going on with that one? I think that one's Hungry Ghost. That's why, yeah. See, some of the shades are starting to blend now because I'm kind of doing it kind of, I'm trying to do it a little quicker so I can avoid making a third one but I really can't now at this point yeah very pretty very very pretty okay well I'll see y'all in part three goodbye